1980, that was a big thing. What else? Oh, well, the Seoul Olympics. And the reason I bring up these 1980, in fact, Sarah from our marketing team, she said, you should talk about what was going on in 88, you know? And so it got me thinking, you know, Good Morning Vietnam came out in early 88. Mm -hmm. uh, what a great movie. Uh, the Seoul Olympics. What else was going on? In it? What were you doing personally in no 1988? No cell phones, no computers. That's right. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem that long ago, but it, it, when you start looking at some of the items that we don't have anymore, uh, maybe I'm older than I think. That's right. <laughs> well, let us know what you were doing in 1988 and where you're watching from. Uh, so we're excited to show you a couple of coaches today, uh, one 30 years old and one brand new, both in amazing condition and both uh, the quality of Marathon. So uh, you mentioned cell phones. Let's look at this entertainment bay before we head inside. I don't know about you, but this, I think they used to call this the princess phone. Yeah. Well, when it sat like that. It's a Cobra phone, and that actually hooks up when you're plugged in uh, to uh, like a RV site. So it's like a landline land at an RV yeah. site. That is so great. Also, another thing about this is that it was set up for audio tapes. And for those of you who need Frank Sinatra's duets, there it is. There's a couple of other good ones in here. Natalie Cole, um, and I also saw uh, Linda Ronstadt. But I love the fact that everything in here is still in great condition 30 it years later. It is. So we're going to take a look at this paint job when we, get, when we come out of the coach because the paint, the exterior of this coach has really been taken care of. It really has. The it's amazing. The owners uh, being meticulous really shows off and maintaining it. You know, this coach is here in service. It's a 30-year-old marathon it's in a 40 service. It's a 40-foot coach, 40-foot XL. Okay. Um, yeah, 13-inch CRT TV. That's right. Well, and that's why it's here. The, the owners got TV upgrades on the interior of the coach. I remember building back then, we'd say, someday they're going to have TVs you can hang on the wall. And here, the, and here yeah, it yeah, is. Here it is. Let's go inside and check it out. I really like this. Now, is this something you put on? Uh, they it, could have put it on afterwards, but this was actually a custom coach built for some customers. So they could have very well, I don't recall if it was done back then or they could have added it along the way. Okay. Well, let's head on inside. All right. So the first thing we're going to talk about, Al, look at this cockpit. That was like the original design of uh, our overhead up in the front of the cockpit area. Uh, CRTV over the, you know, that's a flat screen there. Yeah, this was just installed a few but, days uh, ago. They were heavy, and so it speaks for the well, how well everything was built. Because yeah. CRTV that size, it's like a 27 inch, uh, very heavy. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, the first thing that really, when Todd and I were looking at this, yeah, come on up and join. I'll stand down in the bay here, or in the wheel well. The first thing we were talking about when we walked in here on Friday was all of this koa wood. Uh -huh. Tell us about, because one of the things that I've heard about over the, my time here at Marathon is how we used to build with a lot of koa wood. Okay, this is koa laminate. It's okay. a mica product. Uh, we did solid wood. Because this is solid wood. Yes, and the dash is. So the dash is all solid wood. Uh, we did a lot of wood, kind of tailored after yachts more than and and that gives you get a that yacht feeling. feeling. It does. The moldings we put on were teak. Uh, they were already pre-produced and boosted for the cherry stain to match the koa. Sure. So uh, we got infinity lights. That's right there in between the window yeah, styles. Yeah, these are really cool. Take a look at these, Todd. If you if you look inside the styles, there's actual lights. It's like a two-way mirror, and we used to do a lot of that. We did it on dinette tabletops, and... Uh, yeah, it gives it that infinity yeah, look. Yeah, it keeps going deep. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
uh, here we are in the cockpit, and I love the controls that are above the, your head. Mm -hmm. The steering wheel is absolutely beautiful. That's original. Yeah. If you take a look at that. Yeah. No, this has really been well taken care of. This it, is it's amazing. So, it's just so cool to see. I love this. Flip phone. You got the, phone. the flip Motorola, and it still powers up. Not sure if the owners use it or not, but I love the fact that it's still there. The roller blinds instead of, you know, the plea that we do now, but those are original Prevo blinds. One of the things that we were talking about before we went live, you guys, is that we want to show not only how well this coach is represented today, mm -hmm. but how well it's held up oh, absolutely. over the years. Yep. Uh, I mean, 30 years of being either on the road or in storage yep. or out in the sun, um, you know, weather changes. It, it really is a beautiful, beautiful it, it coach. It really is. It makes you feel good knowing that you've worked on them and they're this big, you know, taken well care of. Absolutely. It, I mean, let's amazing. face it, 30 years ago, you were 14 years old, Al. And <laughs> uh, it's a joke. It's not a very good joke, yeah. but it's still a joke. Uh, uh, so anyway, 30 years ago, you worked on this coach, mm -hmm. and here it is, back. you're sitting back in the cockpit, yeah. and it's still in great condition. So I'm, I'm thrilled that we got it's a awesome. chance to take it, a look at it. It really is. And before I forget, a big thanks to our service department oh, for absolutely. getting it done getting it done and 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 Kevin uh, drove it out here for us so big thanks to Kevin for assisting us staging today's show um, let's take a look as we move into the salon now remember there's no slides in this coach but it doesn't have any problem with space no no it there's, doesn't. A, there's a lot of space as you see the the carpet to keep it clean is plastic covered um, let's let's talk about this little side table here mm -hmm. Al. Now is this what that's, that's glass. This is a, this is glass. Yes. And I like how and it's probably a, 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 I think this is a custom they tweaked some uh, things in here the original customers okay. this table. This wasn't a a norm thing. It was done it's got a timber door for storage. Yeah, that's really leans neat. out. Uh, See that down there? It's got a, a roll across door. You 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 use the proper term, Al. Timber. Timber. Yes. I say it's a roll across. <laughs> you know, I don't know. It's like a roll top desk. A roll top yeah. desk. That's yeah. right. Well, talk about original. Take a look at this glassware. Yeah. Something that a lot of marathons, well, most marathons had. Yes. Back yep. in the day yep. was the glassware, and this is uh, such a neat thing to see the original glassware mm -hmm. up here in the coach. This color wood's beautiful. It is. If it's you've taken a, a tour at uh, Marathon's corporate uh, offices here in Coburg, you've seen a lot of this koa uh, throughout our desks, our, our walls, pretty yeah. much the entire building. All the wainscot, the doors, everything was made with the koa. Now, is that something that Bob selected at the time in 1994 when, when the building was built? Uh, our general manager at the time. Picked, picked all the materials, and it uh, and it just Koa looks great. just fit. It just fit us because we did so many Koa coaches. They were sure. extremely popular. It's a beautiful wood. Um, Koa. I remember when we did Koa. It was like a dollar seventy six a uh, board foot. You can't even find it now. No, no. It's v and very expensive. I, I think in the close to ninety, it, it was up to about twelve something dollars a board foot. And then they only have certain amounts that they, uh, it's all native to Hawaii. Right. It's, and a, it's a sacred wood. It is. It really is. And uh, solid wood ceiling frame. And the star, tell star, us about That's the star moon panel. Star it's, moon panel. Yeah, it's acrylic with uh, blue Tivoli lights behind it. And the moon portion was a uh, perimeter of, uh, you can see the little dots. Uh, was a perimeter of uh, just warm white rope lighting. It was all incandescent, so the bulbs, you know, today last forever. They're LEDs. Right. Uh, the incandescents can burn out, and they need to be replaced. It's fantastic. I love this coach. Okay, uh, let's move into the galley here. Uh, one thing that I really like is the built-in blender. Uh -huh. 
Tell us about the, the built-in blender. I mean, it's it's a pretty standard, I think, you just pull up That's on it. A, that turns it on. This uh, You plug in your blender in there, just set it down in. And then you pull this guy That's up, right? That's a Newtone food center. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah. We used to do that a lot. Uh, original microwave and looks like original refrigerator. Yeah. And this is a great example of if you take care of it, it'll last. Absolutely. Uh, glass doors, that's solar cool glass. That's the same uh, glass that's made for the uh, or the infinity table. Okay. Look Marathon at that. Marathon coffee cups. Marathon coffee <laughs> cups. We've got yeah. a whole set of them up there. Everything we still line the cabinets today, uh, different materials now. As technology obviously has progressed, we've used you know different materials uh, as available that offer more color offerings and things like that durability sure. aspects and that but this this just warms my heart because it, it's immaculate it, it looks, really is isn't it, it looks brand new you know it's been well maintained and and that I mean that's why it's here for service and this uh -huh. is a this is a reason that we talked about wanting to profile this coach uh -huh. is because this is a great example of if you take care of your marathon yeah. your marathon will last Here's 30 years. I mean, we've yeah. shown coaches that are 15 years old before. Mm -hmm. like, wow! Yeah. But here is 30 years old, and it's in great condition. Let's. I want you to show us this. Um, it has a bathtub, everybody. Let's yeah. take a look. Yeah. I'm going to jump on the other side sure. of here. It's a jacuzzi tub. Uh, we've done these on a number of coaches, all custom. It's quite large. Uh, it is. It's very roomy. Uh, yeah, I mean, who would have thought? Right, and so yeah. there have been several people who have emailed me over the time uh -huh. uh, and said, "Can you put a can you put a tub in a coach?" Mm -hmm. Here's a tub in a, a, a quite large jacuzzi tub yeah. in a coach that has no slides. Right. So yeah. for those of you who are asking if it can be achieved, there's an example of it yeah, right there. Absolutely. Washer dryer right Rubber, here. Louver doors. That was all hand done. Isn't it something? A stack washer and dryer in yeah. this cabinet. Yeah. So this would be removable to get access in case you ever had to pull it out. Because your washer is here. Yeah. yeah. Washers are down below and the dryer's above. Yeah. And then come on back here, Todd. Let's take a look at this uh, this bedroom. So the uh, is it etched glass out? Yes. Uh -huh. It's etched. And I noticed when you get to the exterior, they had uh, a matching... Uh, mural on the side, which yes. we used to do a lot of murals back in the day. Uh, the original was done by uh, John Starr, Star Design. Star Design. Yeah. And sliding doors for uh, short hang wardrobe. You got consoles at both in, both sides. Little lamps, pull out lamps. It, I mean, it really has a yacht feeling it does. back It here. really does. Uh, I mean, I could see somebody building this today yes. to get that look. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, we had cruisers back then, so the evaporator, uh, air intake, this is open for grills with filters in behind. Wow. Uh, now we use roof air, so yeah. you don't have that issue. But that's real. That's really well thought out for mm -hmm. for those airs. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Very nice. And uh, this has a brand new TV. I don't know if Todd can swing around here, but this has a brand new TV up here. This was just a... Uh, Chuck just installed this on Friday, so I know the, the new owners, mm -hmm. uh, in keeping with their theme of taking care of their coach, they've mm -hmm. updated the audio-visual in the uh, cockpit and yep. uh, right here in this the bedroom. kind of cool. It's got a VHS and a DVD That's player right. combo. So you can record. Yeah. <laughs> All those VHS tapes the kids had. Like, like I said earlier, Good Morning Vietnam. Yeah, exactly. 1988. Yep. yep. That's so cool. You got a wardrobe right behind... Uh, there with drawers below. This is absolutely immaculate. It really is. Congratulations to the owners for taking yes, care of it absolutely. so much. Absolutely. Well, it's a big investment. You, it you is. just like to see things. People, one thing I can say is Marathon from start to finish has always put a lot of pride. All the craftsmen that we've employed over the years have put a lot of pride in their work, and they don't it's part of them. It really is. Absolutely. And, and when they see a coach that may be a little roughed up or, you know, it, it hurts. And they would be extremely 
proud because they put a lot of time in the window, woodwork, uh, a lot of man hours in this. Well, and, and kudos uh, to our service department. They're, yes. the, they're the ones who told me I was down there mm -hmm. uh, talking to a few of the guys on Thursday, Friday, and they mm -hmm. said, did you see that coach? Mm -hmm. Go take a look at it. Yeah, and so yeah they noticed. They noticed, yeah. and, yep. and, and it's, it's not just a history lesson, but for people like yourself right. and several other employees that were here 30 years ago, mm -hmm. um, you know, to come and see this, mm -hmm. see your hard work last yeah, 30 it years. really is. I mean, the, the Prevo chassis is designed to last. Mm -hmm. Marathon's engineering and design yes. is designed to model yes. the Prevo chassis Absolutely. to work yep. together so that both of them last. To be like a residential home, That's basically. It. Yeah. That's it. And this is a good example. See, the uh, it's got day nights. They're all manual. Yes. So you got the uh, blackout down below. That's really cool. Very functional. I mean, they yeah. don't have... It's Motors dual function. To, no worry about or it is. Man. It's, it's amazing. Fun. Well let's head back out front. I want I want to see one more thing that's on the cockpit and get sure. your get your thoughts on okay. it. Wow, this is it's pretty, isn't it? It really is. And you know another thing that really uh, Sarah and I were in here looking at it, mm -hmm. and one thing Sarah and I talked about was kind of the where everything is placed. Mm -hmm. Like, here's the dishwasher. You yeah. don't even know it's there. No. But it's a great location for it. It doesn't take up anything that would be mm -hmm. other than storage. And the bar is nice. Though. The bar is really nice. you got seating for two. So you got these two stools here. Mm -hmm. This has been added over here. So you've got that, that spot for more. Yep. And there's no slides in this coach. No. It's pretty amazing. It really is. We're upholstering our own sofas now, but this is even still. Yeah. I mean, this it's immaculate. And that's that's why there's plastic over here, so that our service guys and you and I uh -huh. and Todd can walk through here and, and keep keep their uh, the condition of this coach in great condition. Mm -hmm. The Akronis chairs. Uh, yeah, I like little, these chairs. Yeah, they're they're very comfortable. I mean, we still put the, these in today. Well, and this cockpit, that co-pilot seat is, does that lift up? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, that's nice. Got a headrest. Hey, look at that. Yeah, that's for me, uh, uh, reclining. For the taller guys. Yeah, you're, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that co-pilot seat could fit two people or a yeah. golden retriever and well, one adult. Well, <laughs> mainly it was a double wide and... Uh, like a lot of kids that traveled with them or pets. Sure. Uh, so you could sit up there and still have room to have them sit with you. Yeah. Now come back over here. I want to ask you about yeah. something up here. Sure. And I know this is the this is the most exciting part of this coach to me mm -hmm. because it's just beautiful with all this wood. Yeah. It reminds me of those mid '80s Mercedes dashes. Mm -hmm. Although those Mercedes, I think they were like a Zebrano. Right. This is a yeah. Rokoa. Yeah. Tell me about these. Those are just little uh, atmospheric gauges. We put them in uh, primarily for just decoration. And it, it, but we've been mentioning the term yacht, uh -huh. and this reminds me yeah. of an old yeah, wood classic yacht. And, and the pilot seat has a real cockpit feel in it because yes. of the overhead. Yeah, and all the switches are above you, the generator, uh, lights. Wow, I'm just really excited about this coach. This is a real treat. It really I is. I appreciate it. Well, and I appreciate you taking the time uh, to kind of give us that little 30-year history lesson on on this coach. And, sure. and to the owners and our service department, everybody that came together to let us uh, get in it today. So let's go out and let's look at the exterior because the okay. paint is just as good. It is. It's held up extremely it well. Is. Let's go out and take a look. We parked this coach here, right by I-5, so we could get a good shot of it outside, right by the, the big marathon logo that everybody drives by. But this paint is beautiful. It is. 
Let's work our way around the back side because it's got a little mural on the back. And I just want to give everybody a little bit of perspective. Get this in your mind. Take a look at that entertainment bay. See that entertainment bay? Keep that in mind in just a second. We're going to look at a brand new entertainment bay and uh, kind of give you a little lesson on where we, where we were and where we're going. him before uh, from our QC department so what we're doing this morning is we're doing a 30 year old coach and a brand new coach right next to each other have you have you seen inside this I haven't seen inside this particular coach but it's after beautiful it is the co of wood right it's been taken care of so well so we were really excited when we saw it actually huh. I'll go ahead and take a look at it yeah but we're, we're loving the paint job on it too awesome thanks Al so take a look at this, everybody. I was telling you about entertainment bays. There's the new entertainment bay. 30 years of uh, technology. technology change. Interesting to see iPad that. iPad control. Oh, yeah. iPad controls much better audio. Uh, and, of course, we're talking a high definition. What, what is it, a 49-inch? Yeah. 49 inch Samsung in here. Comes in and out on a motorized arm. Well, I tell you what, let's head inside and look at what a new marathon looks like. All right, everybody, so this is Marathon Coach 1285, and it is for sale. And uh, I don't have to tell you my email, but I have to tell you my email. MalW at MarathonCoach.com. So head on in here. Let's check it out. Take a look. All right. It is, and it's, it's coming down from the ceiling. Yes. You don't, uh, the cruise airs can blow and hit you more of a, a force when you walk by the cabinet because they, they aren't disseminating like the air in the upper. This, you don't even feel it. Right. You don't see it, you don't feel it. but Or you don't see it, but it doesn't hit you, but it kind of radiates throughout mm -hmm. the entire yeah. coach. So the thing I kind of notice is that without the overhead, how much more viewing you have. Yeah. That's a good. That's a good comparison because you do have all that. I mean, and that's what the Prevo chassis in a marathon is known for: yeah. is all this natural yeah. light. Yeah. Well, see, they back then they had the upper windows too, so you didn't have the the railless that's windows right. that are full panels. So it, it's really nice. Interestingly enough, maybe not Koa wood, but if you look at that dash. Yeah. You do see, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, a wood grain. It's a burl, burl wood print. Yeah. And then this right here is very similar. Yes, it is. And what what is this laminate, Al? That I is Tuscan. Uh, oh, it's a Tuscan olive wood. Okay. I like the electric fireplace in our mm -hmm. coaches too. Uh, and, and the two tone here. I really like this fabric. It does go well with the um, 
with the leather that you chose here. It really here. does. It's kind of a, it gives it a bit of a masculine look and feel, the leather and the fabric. Well, I know a lot of you out there uh, know our coach as well, so we're not going to go over every detail, but uh, the dinette, uh, I really like how we're doing two-tone on the dinettes. Mm -hmm. We can do uh, one solid color, you know, all leather yeah. or all fabric, um, but I really like how we're doing the two-tone. Mm -hmm. And this, uh, we used to put dinettes on a pedestal, so you had to step yeah. up to them, and by bringing that out, it's created that storage in behind the dinette, but it also puts you on floor level. Right. So if you did have uh, kids or visitors, they could actually have portable chairs on this side be on your level. That's nice. Yeah. You don't you don't have that lip mm -hmm. that you have to stay with yep. like a, a three inch lip. Right. Yeah. Yep. Do I see an elephant in this coach? Uh, Brenda Kraft actually did this. This one. is a Brenda coach? It is. So Brenda did designed a fabulous this. job on it. Uh, sometimes there will be. Take a look at this. This has kind of got a southwest theme to it. Well, Brenda, if you're watching, it's beautiful. It is. Brenda like Brenda watches. Uh, Brenda and Daryl are up in your office right now, <laughs> probably watching us. It is. It's really, really tastefully done. It's got kind of a Southwest theme in it with the cactuses and things. So uh, beautiful flooring too. It is. Stranded bamboo. It's going into uh, marble. Beige marble. And heated floors underneath the marble. Yes. Not underneath the wood, but underneath the marble, you've got heated floors, which is always nice to step out. Mm -hmm. Let's take a quick look at the bedroom. But you know what? We can't pass this, though. Where is my uh, shower Don't accent? Mind. There it is. Todd, come take a look at this. This is one thing that really is dynamic. When all the lights are out, I'm going to turn it off real quick. So. You can either have it on or have it off, but that shower accent that I just turned on, I'm going to open the shower door too, because our, sho our shower door being a pocket door, now maybe we're going to leave it. We're going to leave it closed right now because I think here, it's going to add some glare to us. So I really love having these pocket doors because it adds dimension to the coach. Mm -hmm. I've said that many times before. <laughs> And then good utilization back here. Stack washer and dryer. Yep. Audio video over here. Hanging bar. Hanging bar. So two really good size uh, closets. Yeah. The mirror opens up your bedroom even more. So when it is closed, yeah. you still have the, the mirror the, adds dimension. The uh, visual appearance that it's much larger. Nice. Yep. Well, let's not spend too much time in here because we spent a lot of time in uh, 646. But what a what a fantastic coach! It is. It's very very pretty. I don't I don't necessarily get excited too much about bedspreads, but I really like yeah this fabric. Mm -hmm. Nice touch of detail here on the perimeter welt. Now we make all of these ourselves, right? Uh, no, these are made uh, by a seamstress in town. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. So yeah, it's a local, yeah, yes. it's a local product. Yeah. The pillows and and the, all the bedspreads and things like that are made. We have uh, her make them. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. All the upholstery is done in house, mm -hmm. except for the co-pilot seat. Well, tell us about oh, that. Oh, and the recliner. Okay. Co-pilot seat's a buyout from Villa. Um, sure. Down in California, and the recliners are. Uh, we use a loffer. It's got the mechanism with the yes. footrest that comes out. We also use Ekranus, uh, which you've seen in that coach in there. So we send them our fabrics and they... No, no, they send them to us and we, we reupholster them. They, and I guess that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. And we do that with the Ishri pilot seat as well. So we get, we're doing the upholstery on them. Yes, the that's actual true. fabric, yes. Yes, yes. That, and that's what I meant. I yeah, yep. All right, well, let's head out front. TV in the There's, rest of, Oh, there goes your pocket door. 
it won't get glare from this side. These are amazing because, like, in the past we had to use swing doors, yes. and they come into the aisle or aisleway and things like they that. They always had to be closed. Yeah. This you can leave it open. Yeah, you can absolutely. It's nice. It's a beautiful shower. It really is a beautiful shower. Yeah. What else catches your eye about this coach that you like? Uh, just the, I mean, the feel of it. It's just, it's well balanced color-wise. Uh, it's got a lot of interest. It's got just enough, uh, you know, glamour to to modernize it a bit. For yes. sure. And not make it look, you know, kind of flat. Yep. So it's very well done. Very well done. I like the ceiling choice. Uh huh. It's not too flashy. It is, and I like that. Uh huh. Not that I don't I do like. Too. Not that I don't like some of our flashier ones, but I think if I were purchasing a coach, I would prefer more of a tame style like this. Yeah, it, uh, a little more casual yeah. look to it. Yeah, but you know, everybody's different. Yes. So. All right, well, let's head on outside, take one good look at the noses of these coaches. The front nose. And the now we got the mold that's front end. We got the front glass and the front uh, And I like that, how that's lit up. And that's to, you know, allow the awnings to kill into it. Because the awnings, these are dippies that are side mount. Yes. And these are built in on top so it get a little more stream, streamlined look. But this is a classic. I it mean, really is. I, it's it's, I mean, the, even the uh, protector, the bug protector on the front uh -huh. is immaculate. Yeah, it is. And my question, well, and I asked someone in service, I said, that bug protector has to be new. And it's not. No. He showed me how you could tell that it was an original, or at least an older version. Uh, but it's just beautiful. It's not sun faded or anything. Mm -hmm. Well, not to talk into the sun, uh, but... Wanted to, uh, I guess we'll stand in front of these guys. Wanted to thank you for taking the time. I, I'm glad you got me. Cause Good. I, it was nice going back and, and kind of revisiting, I guess, uh, some of the past stuff. It's really nice. And again, it's, the shape it's in it. It looks like if somebody wanted to model it after a yacht, it yeah. looks like something that could be done today. Absolutely. You know, it, it's beautiful. You know, and um, history is a real important thing to me, and knowing knowing that history and embracing it, and Marathon as a company does a good job of embracing their history, and so I really can appreciate the uh, that aspect of our company being around for so long and being able to, you know, just walk into your office and talk to you about something that our company did decades ago mm -hmm. it's really a great resource uh, so well, one the one thing I can say that's been consistent for going on 35 years now has been the commitment of the worker production to do the best possible job they can and they take a lot of pride it's been consistent throughout and uh, you know it's just always the pride of the work and, and, and everybody I think, owned it I they think our owners it. would say the same thing I would agree I think our owners, I think people who uh, come and take a tour uh, of, of this facility, uh, they can see that in how much our people care uh, just as they're navigating their day building the coaches. Uh, so yeah, it's. Uh, I'm glad you mentioned that because... Well, it, it, our, our owner Bob Schulhorn, uh, 
I think that's what attracted him to our company because he's seen the camaraderie and the and the teamwork and the people owned the product right. and even though it wasn't theirs they owned their process and uh, I think that's what one of the big things that attracted him to this uh, you know so the more time he spent around it he, he starts seeing it was real and uh, I think that shows even today yeah. uh, we just had some customers come in and that had recently bought and purchased a spec coach but they came to the plant and they couldn't stop saying, he says, everyone we meet, and they went all around, they're from back east, and they went all around the plant, and every time I spoke with them, I can't believe service, I can't believe you guys are amazing, and everybody's consistent. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's really things you want to hear. Absolutely and, love doing it, and I'm glad you brought up Bob Shellhorn because I, I, I shouldn't forget him or Steve Shellhorn, our, our uh -huh. owner, his son, when we're talking about this, uh -huh. because his foresight to keep it going and the quality of build here, and look at the quality of build today. Yeah, quality's always been number one. It's number one? Yeah. No cutting corners. No, there really it's there isn't. Something else, there isn't, isn't, isn't cutting corners. Never has been. And, and let's say this, a good part of not cutting corners and a good part of keeping us moving forward with quality and moving forward with technology and moving forward with whatever else is a direct result of what our customers are asking for. No doubt. They come in and they want the best. Mm -hmm. It's starting to sound like a commercial, you guys, but we're just having a conversation here and you're joining us. So, uh, you know, it really, that's what it comes down to is our customers help push us into making an amazing product. There's no question. Absolutely. Uh, How fun. It is. It is a lot of fun. Yeah, and there's great. always challenges and uh, customers have awesome ideas too. And it, if it makes sense, to do it, we'll incorporate it. You know, we, there's a lot of things that were brought up by customers as we go. Sure. Um, technology goes. So. I just saw somebody walk around. Come on, come back here, everybody. This is the best part of being able to go live, is that we can just grab people as we go. I saw Kevin around this way. Kevin. So we're we're still live, and I'm gonna rope this guy into getting on camera. <laughs> I'm gonna rope you to get you on camera. Oh no! Everybody, I want you to meet Kevin. Moving on. I, I thanked you earlier in uh, the video for for pulling this around and helping us stage this. Sweet. Tell us what you do here at Marathon. I am a detailer in the service department over here, and so when you bring in your bus to have it serviced, we uh, make sure it's leaving the lot nice and shiny and and. Uh, Proving how top dog we are, and, and definitely in the, in the RV world. Absolutely. And yeah. you've been with the company over 10 years? Uh, almost about 10 years, yeah. Awesome. yeah. Started in 04 and over in the production side, and, and uh, came back in service. That's great. Here I am. His father in law was an upholsterer. Uh, really? Yep, that's how I got the job. I were five minutes ago talking about the employees are such a major part of building amazing coaches uh, you know we got the customers pushing us and our employees are pushing us so uh, yep. wanted to get you on camera even though you may not want to but uh, <laughs> I really appreciate good. I really appreciate everything you do for us um, hey likewise it's great that you're out here getting the word out and uh, cool jump on the social media I think it's definitely long overdue yeah uh, because You know, like a Tiffany-style lamp. Uh, that's funny you say that because uh, Bob Schulhorn asked me one time they wanted to do some stained glass in the coach, and uh, yeah, so awesome. So there, it's definitely, it's definitely an option. Oh, well, there's no question. I'm going to interrupt you guys real quick. Move over this way and take a look at this. There's Dave Bash and the new owners of this coach. You guys know that coach quite well. 
926, Marathon Monday. How many miles? I can miles. tell you. I can tell you exactly how many miles are on that. There's only 110,000. But this coach has a floor plan that doesn't have slides. That doesn't have slides. That it, it's a coach without slides. Right. That it is. Plan that is correct. Yes. So, so they just wanted confirmation. And it's 40 feet long. It's a 40 footer, and it. Does